Hey, Custom Enclosures here. Today we're going to try to put two L7s in a Mustang that has limited trunk access. There's no way to slide anything from the back due to the convertible top. So we're going to have to completely build this box inside the trunk like a ship in a bottle. So follow me along as we go through this build. Okay, so we've made this anchor point in our trunk. You can see the legs. This is where we will start and anchor the box. It's important that we leave access to this motor. And of course he needs access to change his tail lights in case he has a brake light go out. So uh, he's also gonna slide an amp. This is where he hopes to mount his amps right through here. It's important that the cross piece, which is this piece here, sets flat on the subfloor of the car. So to accurately get that, you simply put a nice piece of straight board across and then we will mark right here. And that'll give me the exact location of the bottom of this box. And you can see the level is currently looking really good. Okay, so there's our base. We're going to anchor some more of the box off of the base here. So you can see our board is lining up just like we said. It would. We'll have another board, of course, that goes all the way back that joins through here. Uh, but everything lays nicely, nice and even across the box that we just made for our pocket anchor box. Okay, if you're wondering how I'm going to keep up with the internal volume, each section that I make, each portion that I make, I calculate, I calculate its volume and I write it down. This particular little box is 0.89 cubic feet and as I add the rest of the box to the car I'll keep adding everything together until eventually I'll add everything up and I'll end up with my total internal cubic volume okay today we're trying to decide to see how far we've come along we're uh, trying to decide how the the board is gonna come out this way and go up and slant down or just come out straight. Um, it's all about how I can get the subs loaded back here. Uh, that's what we're trying to decide now. Okay, so we've got most of the box pieced together. You can see how I used pocket holes to join all the pieces of wood. It's a very strong system. I use it in cabinet making all the time. Um, all that's left to do is to build the interior ports and put the faceplate on. Okay, the box is nearing completion now. I've calculated all the interior volumes, all the all the spaces. We come up with a total of 4.4 cubic feet. Um, the ports displace 0.4. That brings us to four. Uh, the speakers call for 1.75 each. Plus three and a half, and then they'll displace another 0.25 each uh, from the cone, from the magnet. That'll put us right at our right at our limit of uh, 1.75 minimum per sub. So, and this is all the space I could squeeze out of this box. I've got the last piece cut here, and I'll try to put it in and show you. Okay, the box uh, lid is in here, and you can see it will ride. It's hard to get judge it, but coming back, that's what it'll look like sitting in the trunk, and it'll have it'll have two L7s here, and then of course you've got you've got your two ports 
you got your two ports on each side and you can see where they wind around and come around on the inside and this thing will really start to look good once we bring it over to the secret weapon which is the CNC machine we're gonna CNC kicker logo we're gonna do some fancy work around the ports and I'll get you one more video and that'll be the end of this job L7's done.